Welcome to the channel. Larry will be demonstrating how to fix delicious, healthy lentils in the Dash Mini Rice Cooker. This is a simple, quick way to prepare lentils. So, let's get straight to the video. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Interesting video today. I'm doing lentils. For years and years I've known about lentils, but until very recently I've never tasted them, never cooked them, never had anything to do with them other than I knew what they were and didn't really know too much about what they were. But in the last maybe six or eight months I've tried them three or four times and I've really gotten where I like them. They're one of my favorites. So let's cook some lentils the delicious easy way. We're going to use the mini dash rice cooker and see how they come out. So let's start with the lentils themselves. We're going to be using the measuring cup that came with the rice cooker and I'm going to call it cups but this is actually not a full cup. So use the cup that came with your rice cooker or use one of these and I think it's actually about three quarters of a cup. So I'm going to put two of these in. No I'm not. I'm going to put one of these in. I'm thinking of the liquid. One full one of these of the lentils into the bottom of the pot. You can rinse these and soak them a little bit if you want to. But I'm not going to do that. I've found that it's not necessary. There are the lentils. Then I'm going to put my liquid in. I'm going to put two and a half of these little measuring cups full of chicken stock. You can use chicken stock. You can use water. You can use any anything you want to flavor it. And I'm going to stir that a little bit. Get these lentils to sink. Then I'm going to start with my spices. The first thing I'm going to do is put two bay leaves, um, a one and a half teaspoon of paprika, and a half teaspoon full of rosemary, crushed rosemary, a half teaspoon full of salt, and a half teaspoon of coarse ground pepper. I'm going to put a teaspoon of turmeric, a teaspoon of smoked paprika, I think I already said paprika, and just a pinch of cayenne pepper to add a little bit of kick. And that's all I'm going to put in there. <clears throat> there are other things you can put. It would be real good to put some tomatoes in or some rotel or any number of things and we'll do some variations. I'm going to do another cook on this maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow sometime during the weekend and I'm going to use the um, lentils and I'm also going to use um, some other grains and with it. Okay, let's put the lid on. And those of you who don't know, these cookers actually cook by the weight of what's in the bucket. So as it begins to cook and it cooks out, it's going to turn itself off. I'm going to plug the pot in. There's no on or off switch on it. It's just on or off by whether it's plugged in or not. So let's plug it in as we just did and of course when it comes on it goes to the keep warm and if you push the little button down it goes to the cook setting and it's going to cook. So we're going to let it cook and after probably 10 or 15 minutes I'm going to come in and stir it up just a little bit to make sure it's doing well and then we'll see where we go from there. So I'll be back in a little while. This has been cooking <clears throat> for about 12 minutes now and it's boiling. It's looking good so let's give it a little stir. It smells nice and spicy with all of the good things we've put in it. Put the lid back on. We're gonna let it cook on for a little while. We'll check back up on it in a little bit.
it's been about 20 minutes now and <clears throat> they've expanded the water is down below the surface of the lentils but I don't want to add more water because if you remember this automatically turns off when the water level gets a little bit low and we'll let it sit here on warm for a little while and finish the cooking <clears throat> so let's let it go a little bit longer and we'll watch for it to cut over to warm and we'll take it from there it's been cooking now for about 35 minutes and it just cut over to keep warm so that means the cook phase is finished and it did everything automatically couldn't have been any easier <clears throat> I'm gonna stir it up a little bit oh it's hot very hot um, let me taste it and see how well done each of these lentils are let me get a spoon and taste these they look pretty mm -hmm. they're nice and soft so actually, they're ready. Let's dish them up and we'll give them a final taste and wrap up the video. I've got them dished up in this little ramekin and we'll give them a taste again. Really good. Mmm. They're nicely cooked and tender and completely ready. While I was sitting waiting for these to cook, that only took about 35, about 40 minutes, I was thinking of some other things. These would be really good with some Cajun spice. You could also put a little meat in them. I think you could put some little cubes, like cut up pieces of chicken breast in there for a little meat or some sausage, some Cajun sausage, or whatever kind you like. There's any number of things you could do to enhance the flavor of these and make a really incredible dinner. As I said, I'm going to do another video, either tonight or tomorrow, and add some other grains to this. I think I'm going to put some um, hops in there. If not hops, maybe some, some other things. Anyway, we'll see what we're going to do, so be on the lookout and they'll be there. At the end of this video, please go down to the information below and there'll be a full recipe that you can highlight and then print. There'll also be some Amazon purchase links for the um, lentils as well as the Dash Mini Rice Cooker. So you can buy those through the channel and help us and help you. And you can fix these all the time and do them any way you like. It's always great to have all of you visit us on the channel um, and we really appreciate those of you who have joined the channel and would like more of you to subscribe because it gets the word out better to more people on, the, on YouTube and helps us a lot. So thanks again for visiting and we'll see you on the next video. Have a great evening. Okay, that's a successful wrap to our first lentil instruction video. If you enjoyed this presentation, we encourage you to click on the subscribe button below, as well as the like, share, and notification buttons. If you're already a subscriber, we love you and are always happy to see you back. If you are not subscribed, we'd love to have you do so. Thanks again for visiting us, and we wish you happy cooking. This has been a Larry Under Pressure production. Take care.